I like the Lloyd Stern note notebooks, especially with the matching pen loop, but sadly they are a little tight and won't fit my Vista Safaris, All Stars, and Twisbees. I have a Lamy logo that fits, but the pen is too narrow for my taste. So what is your recommendation for a pen loop friendly fountain pens? Or should I just give up and buy a Pi Up Metropolitan? Well, I won't say that's a bad way to go. I uh, missed this question when I was prepping my stuff, but I have my notebook here that actually has a Leuchtturm pen loop on it, so that's kind of good. Um, Pilot Metropolitan is not a bad way to go. So this Leuchtturm pen loop, just to cover it, it's a couple of bucks. It's this, um, let me show you here. You, uh, you stick it on inside your notebook, right? And if you have a pen that is thin enough, you can stick it inside your pen loop like so and carry it around. Now, the thing is with most fountain pens, most fountain pens are a little fatter than what's intended to fit inside this pen loop. I don't think Leuchtturm's primary target for this pen loop is fountain pen people. I think it's people using pencils. Um, you know, like for example, I got a Rhodia pencil here that fits very nicely in there very easily. If you had a big fat pen loop, then you wouldn't be able to fit something like this in there very easily. Or if you have a roller ball, you know, a Pilot G2 or something like that. Yes, I have roller balls on my desk, please don't judge. Um, you know, I can fit it in here and maybe not quite as easily because it's got a rubber grip, but a lot of people that are journaling and stuff like that like to use roller balls, whatever. There it is. Okay, that one's not quite as graceful. But you get the idea. Okay, here's a different one. This is a what is this even? I haven't used this in forever. Stedler Liquid Point 7. La -dee da Fits in there. Okay, great. And that's wonderful. These are all thinner pens. When you get into some of these thicker pens, like you mentioned the Twisby, Twisby Eco would be a good example, it's going to get kind of fat and you're going to have to really kind of work at it to be able to get it in there. It can be done. Ah. But are you really going to want to wrestle with it like that every time you go somewhere? Maybe you will. I don't know. Maybe it's worth the trouble to you. It can be done, but it's going to be a little bit of a struggle. So you can make that happen. Um, I got a couple of pens that I can recommend that I think would work pretty well. One is the Metropolitan, for sure. The thinner Lamy pens, yes, you can do that. It's a little tougher with something like the Safari. And in fact, I forgot to grab all these pens now that I was about to mention. So I will kind of grab them as I'm looking over here. Um, let's see here. So the Daiso pen was one that I kind of mentioned earlier. It's a pretty inexpensive pen. Medium nib, so it might be a little broad for some of your notebooks, but, you know, it's a, it's a little bit thinner pen. Very inexpensive, too. That's another thing is if you put a really expensive pen on here and you're kind of knocking it around, it might not be as great. So you may want to stick with something a little less expensive. That's why something like Daiso or Metropolitan or something like that tends to work pretty nicely. Um, I have the Tactile Turn Gist which I will grab here right quick. Where do I even have that? Let's see, sorry, I'm being super unprofessional right now. Here we go. Tactile Turn Gist. This is the copper version, but you can get this in polycarbonate as well, which will actually probably work even better. You know, it's got a pretty decent taper on it, so um, the ribs nature of it might make it a little tougher to kind of fit in in here. I'm actually struggling with it right now, as you see. I made this list without actually trying in a pen on here, I kind of guessed. So it's a little tough to get it started. Yeah, that is really tough to get in there. There we go. It's gonna hold it in there really firmly once it's in. That's kind of the benefit of that. Um, but the polycarbonate one might actually work better even than the copper one. Um, so that one might be an option for you. The uh, Faber-Castell Emotion could also work. I will grab that. And then the Edison uh, Nouveau Premier as well would work. That one I'd be a little more hesitant about um, just because, you know, it's a little more expensive pen. The Emotion here, it's got a nice heavy taper on it. The Lamy 2002 is another really, really good one that I actually end up using personally. There's the Emotion. That pen's a little bit thicker but it's gonna hold it on there and it's got this nice kind of um, diamond pattern on it that's going to really kind of grip it nicely. Premier as well, very pointy pen, which some people don't like, but comes to your advantage in this type of situation. So that can work really well too. But again, this pen's a little more expensive. I'm not sure if you'd want it knocking around. That's always a consideration. Heck, the Pilot Varsity could be a really good one too if you're carrying around um, you know, something that you really wouldn't want to damage. 
There's that one. And the last one I'll show you is the Lamy 2000, just while I'm here. But there's a lot of different pens that could work. Um, and I think a great tool that you can use when looking at this is our pen plaza. Uh, because we have all these pens side by side. So if you have a pen that you know works well in a pen loop like this, you can actually do a side by side comparison, excuse me, size wise. The, the, the Lamy 2000, excuse me, getting gassy. Uh, size wise is a little nicer, or sorry, is, uh, is nice for this pen loop, um, but the material is really durable too. So even though this pen is, you know, $156, uh, it does, hold up nicely and is very durable. I carry mine around and rough it up quite a bit and it holds up well. So there you have it. The thing I would uh, kind of encourage you to do though, especially if you have a pen like the Metropolitan or the Lamy 2000 that's a snap cap, is I would encourage you to put your stick on pen loop more towards the middle and have it really try to grip onto the body of the pen. The challenge that you run into if you were to do something like say the Metropolitan and say you had it higher up and you put it around the cap like this, what can happen is the body of the pen, if it like hits up against something or you fling it around, can actually come separated from the cap and that's not really ideal. So if you have it on the body of the pen, then that is much less likely to happen because it's gripping onto the center of the pen. So just a little little bonus tip there. I always put my pen loops right in the middle. The only time you would really want to use the clip on it is if you have something that's too thin to fit into whatever pen loop thing that you've got going on and you need the clip so that it won't just fling out of the thing. But that's usually not going to be the case with this Leuchtturm one. So I hope that was helpful for you. 